sa hangar, bodega, what is the main purpose? Lagyan ng basura. <laughs> Saan mo ilalagyan ang basura kung walang bodega? In case of emergencies on air, what will you usually do? Of course, magpanik kami. Wala kami dun sa taas. Nandito kami sa babae. We now return to your regular programming. Good morning, sir. Can you please introduce yourself? Uh, my name is Susana Brahano III. I'm uh, currently working in Master's Flight School as a senior mechanic. What is your position and how long have you been here in service? Uh, like I said, I'm a senior mechanic in Master's Flight School for six years. I handle mostly some of the aircraft like Cessna 172, 152, and 150. I'm currently handling Piper Aztec right now at the fair left side right here. And also, I am also in charge with the trainings, with the on-the-job trainings in our company. A graduate of what course? Uh, Bachelor of Science in Aviation Maintenance. Can you tell us a short history of Master's Flying School? Uh, Master's Flying School was stood up by Mr. Ernesto Villa. In 1994, we started out with a small fleet of two. Uh, I think it was Cessna 15, uh, Cessna 1330 and Cessna 6-3. As the years went on, we managed to develop uh, many student pilots that are in the airline companies right now. And our little company grew into what it is right now. We already have at least, I think, 12, Ces uh, 12 Cessnas, and two Sikorsky helicopters, and one Piper Aztec. What is a hangar? Ah, uh, hangar. When you say hangar, it's usually what we call a, a little base for the mechanics or employees. And also, a, a hangar is where you store your aircraft. Because usually, some companies don't have a hangar. Tendency of that is your aircraft will be balin na babad sa mga elemento. Yung mga init, araw, ulan. So, usually, kung nabababad dun sa mga init, ulan, eh, mga mangyayari, corroded, or magpo-corrosion, or magka-problema yung mga sheet metal, or pintura ng aircraft mo. What is the main purpose of the hangar? Main purpose, like I said earlier, it's a storage area uh, where some of us, like us in Masters, we have a small barracks at the right side. That's where we live, all of us mechanics. And this, that's where, and the hangar is where we're gonna store our aircraft and helicopters that are very sensitive when it comes to uh, weather. What are the usual, usual problems of an aircraft? Uh, usual problems. There are different kinds of problems. We have usually brake system. Usually we're gonna have problem with the brake system, but it's not a problem. Because usually we do preventive maintenance before we're gonna put the aircraft out or before it's gonna fly. It's preventive and counter, I counter preventive. Pre-flight inspection and post-flight inspection. We usually use the say service manual. Service manual, all our problems can be solved what's under or written in the service manual. Are the price for fixing or making an aircraft costly? Yes, costly indeed. Uh, usually one part of your aircraft I can site one. Windshield. Seventy five thousand pesos. Not including the labor. Are the mechanics trained with a specific type of aircraft? Yes. We are trained with a specific type of aircraft. It depends on our training, especially when you apply when you apply in a certain company. It depends on what aircraft they have. So if they have Cessna 172, 152, or 150, you will be trained by the company to fix that kind of aircraft. Okay, uh, the pilots have knowledge when it comes to not necessarily fixing, but knowledge about the aircraft when it comes to its engine performance and maneuver maneuverability. So when they have problems, they usually ask for advice. If they manage to find something, a slight vibration with the engine, and they will do an emergency landing, and we will try to fix it. Oh, not fix it. Find the problem and try to find a solution for it. 
sa isang hangar po, ilan po yung capacity? It depends on the size of the hangar. Our hangar, we can accommodate two choppers, one Piper Aztec, and five Cessnas. Ano-ano po ang SOP sa loob ng hangar? Standard operating procedure. Number one, cleanliness. Yes, that's the number one priority in a hangar. Because small debris or a small screw on the floor can make a very big difference. For example, like last time or an incident, incidents not here in Masters but other companies, small screw may to nakapasok dun siya intake manifold. So basag-basag yung silindro. Or another incident, small screw nabutas yung gulong pag landing running on flat so mga ganun may incident so kailangan malinis yung hangar yan ang SOP namin talaga lagi and bawal mag horseplay kailan seryoso kasi buhay ang inahawakan nyo may makalimutan kayo yung kabit sa aeroplano boom patay So, kailangan cleanliness and no horse paying. Ano pa? Wear the proper uh, uh, proper uniform with vest, safety shoes, cargo pants, and ano pa? Yun. Gloves. Uh, safety goggles. Earplugs. Yun. Yan ang mga SOP namin dito kung magtatrabaho. Sino-sino or ano ang mga authorized personnel ang makikita or nabibilang sa isang hangar? Kami ang mga senior mechanic with license. Uh, usually sa aming kompanya, there are only six sa uh, kompanya namin. So we are the only one authorized to maintain and replace maintain and replace an aircraft. But pinatulong pa namin yung mga OGT. Makagagawa naman sila pero kailangan with supervision. Firstly, kailangan na graduate of bachelor's degree eh? or a diploma of aircraft, me aircraft mechanic or aviation maintenance. And with license na po. And nakatrain ka na rin. Yun lang po ang kailangan dito. Hindi naman ganun ka-strict. Yun lang talaga. Graduate sa bachelor of science of aviation maintenance or diploma, aircraft mechanic or aviation maintenance. And may... Uh, may experience ka na as a on-the-job trainee and may lisensya lang po. Yun lang. Ang company na usually nag-train din sa kanila kung anong aircraft na nahinahandle nyo. Okay. Yun lang. Okay. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yung training naman is ano, almost a year. 
sa pagiging air traffic controller or parehas din yung air navigation service so, sa mga technician din yan. Almost one year na ano, halos weekly pala may exam. So yun, ipapasya niyo yun. din yata ano may ano pa wala nang ano lahat libre pero parang parang inalis kasi hindi sustainable nung nagtraining kami ano eh way back in 2010 ano eh walang bayad pero kami yung mag-aano ng tirahan namin daw sa pagkain yun parang hindi school din parang scholar ng bayad din ba tayo scholar ng bayad dealing with aircraft yung trabaho yung pinakaano nila is mag, ano, magbanggaan yung mga parang sa mga ano sa mga kansano so ang solutions most of the time yung yung ano sa amin is sa procedure na gagawa ng ano traffic procedures na hindi sila magsasalubong or mag or separated sila either ano laterally or ano, vertically yun uh, yun um, sa ano naman sa ibang solution tulad yun pag apply ng technology paggamit ng radar ang mga kasagot nun yung ANS so sa amin basically sa ano sa pag sa air traffic control yun yung ano equipment outage kasi yun doon nagre-relay kami na, ng information sa mga piloto. Doon kami na bibigay ng instruction. So pag nag-out yung radio, uh, wala din yung contact namin sa ano. Pero may huli pang, may, may mga ano, line of defense pa. Diba? May mga ano, no radio procedures na nagagawin yung piloto. Tapos may mga light gun signals kami. Yun, parang last, uh, last line of defense yun pag may ganun. scheduled flight na yan so sa ganitong araw sa ganitong oras lilipad talaga yun so may kumbaga automated na naka-computer na yung filing ng flight plan dito naman sa mga training pilots kumbaga ano by manual pa ba yan pa na ano may pipilapan silang form din ano yung mga file sa amin din yung input namin sa ano sa sa computer sa account sa aeronautical data access system so yun then Ay, then yun. after no, no, sa ano pa lang, pre-flight pre planning pa din. Then sa, sa stage na tayo na ano, yung departure, yun, magkakontrol na marunit nyo. Malumili pa din, may mga pa-landing yun. And then, ikaw-coordinate na yan sa ibang airport, kung anong oras estimate niya, ilan yung pasahero, yun. Pero through computer na, hindi na tulad ng dati na, through voice lang. So yun, nag end yung operations namin, I mean yung trabaho na yun, pag safely landed and nakabalik na sa terminal yung aeroplano. Pero tuloy-tuloy yung trabaho namin na in, in this ano, shift, uh, ba ang gaya alas 5 yan, tuloy-tuloy yan na may parating tuloy-tuloy na tayo pa. Sige, so doon yung sa operations namin. Ano, mapaprocess yung flight plan mo ito yung 5 minutes. Mapaprocess yung flight plan mo ito yung 5 minutes. Mapaprocess yung flight plan mo ito yung 5 minutes. 
process yun kasi ang pwede lang naman mag-file diba? license na uh, pilot or license flight dispatcher so ganun yung may training naman kami dyan sa pag-accept tapos pagtingin kung tama yung NCS kasama yun sa training so maiksi lang yung, ano, yung flight planning yun, na, na ganun pero yung tinutukoy mo siguro iba na yung mga permits and ano ang makakasagot nun yung admin yung sa mga permit or pag mag-ano ka ng drone iba-iba nga ano, concern ko yun sa, sa amin kasi air traffic okay. yun, galing nga sa pag-aaral hindi <laughs> mag mag-ano Tapusin nyo yung course nyo And actually maganda yung Yung Opportunities dito So Pwede may iba yung ano yung Career path nyo Pupunta kayo sa more technical Sa air navigation talaga Or pwede dito kayo sa operations Marami akong ano eh Easy na ano Nakikita na Nag iba yung career path nyo iba Naging ang motivational speaker di ba? iba naging ano, negosyante iba naging invert, inventor pero kung ito yung career path na natakagin nyo, medyo stable naman siya compared sa ano, sa iba and pati yung ano, ANS din, medyo stable din yung career path na yun component of the land uh, component the ILS to out answer the solution and the uh, urban component bidding uh, final side the, 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 the second question po sir why is there a maximum landing weight limit landing weight limit okay. uh, in consideration of the landing requirement ng aircraft okay. so sa, sa yung uh, distance of the runway requirement for a landing, successful landing. So, uh, we spent, for, for example, an Airbus 340 uh, requirement for yung uh, no load requires 900 meters of runway. Kung halimbawa, for no load yun, 900. So, it would require more runway distance if there's a load. Uh, so more load requires more running length. Okay. Okay. Yung, uh, uh, obstacle clearance uh, requirement ng uh, airport. So, passive or fail operation. When auto land is failed, passive or fail operation. Automated landing. Yes. Automated landing, possibly uh, the pilot side, yeah. aircraft, submitted, uh, airborne equipment, and yeah. 
So, dapat magsasagot ng pinoto. Pinoto ang sasagot ng dahil. Usually po yung more on sa kaya at yung questions. Uh-huh. Ito po, pakakulang. What is the procedure for a fast landing that is too slow for go around? What? What is the procedure for a fast landing that is too slow for go around? Fast landing or too slow for go around? Yes, sir. Pilot on yan eh. Uh, pilot, pilot procedure yan. Pero kasi dito sa airport, meron kami go-around procedures. Um, go-around procedures are subject to uh, obstructions. Pero dun sa pilot side, uh, kasama yung obstruction and yung uh, abnormal uh, aircraft configuration. Uh, uh, next question po sir. How to reduce the landing roll distance? Ano din yun? Uh, sa pilot din yun. Kaya, one, pero ang idea doon is to reduce the landing distance requirement uh, sa mga jet aircraft, they use yung uh, reverse thrusters. Okay. Tapos sa uh, light aircraft, yung mga propeller, kasama din yung uh, flaps, yung flaps gano'n. Pero ano yung pilot side? Yung pilot side, yung pilot side. Yung pilot side. Sa next question, what makes airplanes uh, pitch up during landing? Uh, what makes airplanes pitch up? Pitch up? Pitch up. Di yung elevator. Mm-hmm. Ito, next question. Bro. Why why do aircraft san- sometimes bounce ano, while landing? Uh, wind condition, mm-hmm. uh, abnormal aircraft configuration, mga uh, ganun uh, factors. Mga factors ba? Uh, abnormal configuration sa aircraft. Uh, wind uh, factor, uh, wind condition factors in uh, visibility in this hand, or uh, pilot skill. Hindi <laughs> po pwede po yung Ito po. Can aircraft stall at low speed during final landing? Pilot na makasunod yan. Can aircraft stall at low speed? Uh, ah, pilot niyo po makasunod. Tsaka si aircraft performance yan sa... Sige po, yun lang po yung questions ko about that, sir.